Hello, my name is Matt Cornell. Uh, if you want to find out more, dot com. <laughs> that is pretty much sums up some of the tools that I'm going to talk about. Maybe we can lift it. So to stay cohesive, this is my little board. There's a thing that happens on the internet called what's in your bag. And there are whole albums and websites and blog rolls devoted to people showing it. So I'm just going to do that. This is my favourite interface. This book and a, a pen. There's almost an A4 size book and a pen is my favourite interface for catching ideas. Um, and then the rest of the things you'll see, are, except the shoes, <laughs> are battery powered. So I'll get to those. Uh, these are all to facilitate what I think are my main tools, which are dance and discussion. And I use dance to affect myself and hopefully the world around me. And then I use discussion for the same thing because, and I can't remember who said it, I'm afraid that words are the programming language of the mind. One tool. Um, I enjoy being.com, you can buy one of my shirts as well. <laughs> uh, and movement, I believe, is the programming language of the body. And if, and I think that they work not as separately as we talk about them. I think they're a cohesive system. Uh, what else? Maybe there's nothing at all contemporary about my practice except scale and speed. And these things are to facilitate scale and speed. So on this watch, on this watch, you can't really see, but this little like V of black here, that's an image of the world and the daylight moves across it throughout the day. So at a glance, I can know whether my collaborator that I'm having a Skype conversation with or that I'm expecting to put a grant application into somewhere else or my sister is living in Europe, that if they're asleep or if I can contact them. And so there seems there's like a new, the day doesn't start and end somehow. There's always somebody that you can talk to and learn from. And that also happens with this, is a small earpiece that I use to listen to podcasts. And it's just basically discussions like this or banter or panels, um, but just because they're not immediately around me and not happening at the moment, doesn't mean I can't uh, be nourished by them. There's also another little trick I use that for, which is on the accessibility options on your phone, which uh, just gives you a whole bunch of other ways to interact with the device. You can choose text to speech. And if I get a long email that I can't sit still and read because I need to move, um, then I'll just swipe it and it will be read to me as I do something else. And that's just a tool to leverage the fact that I can't operate in this sit still and read world, but I have to. As a career artist, I need to be able to leverage that system. Maybe being a career focused independent artist is a contemporary thing. I don't know. I mean, it's also indicative that everything on here fits into a backpack and goes in the overhead compartment on a plane because that's how mobile you have to be. And everything's battery powered because you don't have a studio that you're going to necessarily arrive at on the other end. And that as many things as possible in this picture are automated. For example, this camera that is that camera, this remote, mm. These cameras in Europe automatically stop recording at 29 minutes and 59 seconds so that they're not classed as camcorders so they can't have the camcorder tax. My dancers sometimes last longer than that but I don't have a production crew and I'm in my pieces. So this intervalometer counts down 30 minutes and as soon as that camera's like, ah, oh, the intervalometer goes back on. For an example of contemporary practice and tools to leverage that. <laughs> now the reason that I need to record it is because I don't consider that the dance community, the contemporary dance community especially, or the dance community of people that make stuff that happen in theatres, is only local. Definitely the discourse is not local in words, and so I'd hope that the performances and the embodiment is also not just local. Um, that leads on to another project that I'm currently working on. If anybody's got, if anybody, everybody, pull out your phone that does internet, 
and go to this address, please. I want to show you something. You don't have to type W's, just wombatradio.com.au. That's li this little recording device down here. Um, I run a podcast where I talk to people who are working through something or working out something, hopefully dancers or choreographers, and, but not always, just people who are interested. You can scroll down, there's a lot of people in there and it's something about letting the, the embodied practitioners have their own voice and speak as agents of their own practice rather than, it be, than being spoken for them. There's also a sub subscribe link if you want to check it. Um, or if you want a quick list, the top right hand button will give you a quick list of everyone. There's like 50 there and there's more in a way. Every Tuesday it gets released. Two minutes left or something? Uh, four. Oh yeah. Um, these are noise cancelling headphones for super long flights and it also means that you can get work done on the flight because that's the only time you will get the admin work done that you don't do, hopefully, because you're in the studio. This cable means that you can teach a class in almost any country, that ha any, any country in any studio that has a sound system because you've got your phone, which has become universal, to your average installation, and then if that's not the case, you've got your backup, and then if that and that is not the case, then you've got your backup on that. And you should be able to go to anywhere, and that lives in my bag. Uh, this is a hard drive because I'm amassing multimedia every day. It's also finger printed. This is just a laptop, but it's only useful because it's highly customized. So any, there's a particular list of words that auto-correct into emojis, and I believe, I run on the belief that anything that needs to be repeated can be automated. And so I don't have to become an admin person to have an admin effect in the world. I can still be the artist. This watch also plays sound if I'm teaching a class. So I can be like recording myself to put it up later on my website, play the sound, do the dance. continue talking about the piece. Uh, I mean, I just put this keychain in for laughs because it was printed on a 3D printer, which was another aspect of my choreographic inquiry a few years ago. And this highlighter I want to talk about. So when I read, I find it very hard to do the sitting reading thing. But if I highlight, I'm on a mission to collect information. And I think a lot of artists work in this magpie way of collecting. No, Bowerbird way of collecting things and then waving one day. So I'm collecting ideas or concepts and the only way I can contact them later, and this comes back to my favourite interface for the studio, is that there's a scanning app, everything gets stored, synced across all devices. If I can remember one word, or the time, or the place, many, many years later, without having all that stuff with me, because remember I don't have an office or a studio, I can type in a keyword and because there's optical character recognition that's been working through all of my notebook scans, it'll read my handwriting, pull that up, and anything else that has that keyword. So I'm building a database of an idea bank that cuts away all the friction. I've got an idea that you can set up friction gates for yourself. The things that your future better self should be doing more of, make that as frictionless as possible. <laughs> and the things that you like, would rather be doing put some gates in the way. That's kind of time, eh? Oh, one minute. I put those shoes there because I like those shoes. And the reason that's important is because I do believe that the songs that you dance to, the way that you dress, that you can use all of those as little like hijacks or aesthetic builders or cues to get into the embodiment that you need for the situation that you're about to present at. Also, my mum paid half of one of those shoes as a birthday present, and that's indicative of being a contemporary artist. 
These books are kind of important as reminders because the top one's written by a dude called Buckminster Fuller. And here it's a very short mm, instructions for Spaceship Earth, operating manual for Spaceship Earth. And he considers the entire globe and all events in it as a cohesive interrelated system. And I think that is also, while it's been a long time coming, <laughs> that's very indicative, not in, indicative is the wrong word, so it's very important in the concepts that I'm considering about how to choreograph through social classes or deal with the physical embodiment of the social structures that uh, perpetuate alcoholism. And I don't want to deal with those from a lecture or a soapbox or a pulpit or an essay. I want to deal with them through the body because I feel like that's the only place that I can engage and speak with authority and authenticity. And on a final note, it's important that I speak English because that is a pretty useful tool when so much of the world speaks it as well. And the internet was founded on it and a financial system operates on it. And you can somehow say the right words in the right order, people will give you cash. Then you can incentivize other people efforts towards enacting your vision. I don't know who's the tool in that operating. Maybe it's me. <laughs> Thanks.